Today I will show you how I shot this image. I have some tips and tricks how I created those really nice and clean reflections on the bottle. So let's get started. I have already set up my basic lighting. I have one light on the background, one main light for the products and also product already on the table. I have nice red wine here which has really beautiful curve on the bottle and we can create really nice looking reflections on both sides. So let's take first image and let's see how does it look. Is it black? Yes, it is black. So actually I have mentioned already earlier that I'm using this first frame always as a black frame and there is one more trick why I'm using this black frame. If I'm shooting several images while setting up all my lighting then once I get everything set up properly and I like the result that I have then usually I take one black frame and start taking my final images after that black frame. So if I later on open all my files up in the computer, then I can easily find my queue where I have my final images lined up. That after this final black frame, I know that these images are correct one and I can use those for my work. So that's why I also take the black frame as first shot. But right now we are just making sure that we don't have any ambient lighting affecting my product and then we can move on. So we move on with the background light. Let's see. This is already looking very good and uh, we can go here on to the main light now. Let's turn on the main light as well and take another image. Here I would increase the power on the main light one stop to bring it more out from the background. So let's increase the power for the main flash and we'll take another one. Here we go. Brighter white reflection on the bottle. But now let's add a reflection on the left side as well. For this I'm using my acrylic board and let's take another shot. Nice and clean product photo. But now if you look at the image closer then you see on the reflection here you see some uneven areas like those lines in here and here there is a brighter spot also on this edge and this is something that I would need to uh, Photoshop later on in the computer to make it nice and even and clean look. But I have a little trick for this one and I can eliminate these right away during my photo shoot. So here I will replace my softbox with this white acrylic plastic. Why I do this is that softbox is having a fabric and the fabric is usually having some wrinkles and it's not evenly placed on the softbox inside and then we get some uneven lining on the edges and also some darker and brighter areas on the softbox because it's wrinkly. So that's why I will replace this one and I will add a reflector onto the flash unit. Now I have my reflector in place and I will add in my acrylic plexiglass. Add this one in, put it right here on the side of the bottle. And if you remember, I talked about the reflection on the side of the bottle that we need to raise the bottle from the table to make the reflection nice and clean. So that's why my bottle is sitting on the block. And in this way I can have it higher 
from the table and I have the reflection on the side of the bottle from the top all the way down to the bottom. So let's take now another image and let's see what we have. And this reflection here is looking way more cleaner. As you can see here, all the sides are looking really clean and sharp all the way to the bottom. And this is the reflection that I'm looking for when I'm shooting wine bottles, especially red wine, because then we have those reflections really clearly visible in there. And now the next one, we will add the second piece of plexiglass on the side. And let's see, how does it look? This is looking really good. Remember, we are having here only two lights, one on the background and one main light on the product. So that's why we have the left side a little bit darker here. But let's add in third light and let's make it even. Let's make it looking nice and even, clean reflections on both sides. For that, let's add in my third light and let's see. I'm pretty sure that right now that we have two lights, then the overall image might be too bright because now we have doubled the power of light on the product. And let's see how does it look. Here we go. Yep, that's too strong. I would take now one stop off from both lights. And let's take another one. Yes, that's the one I was looking for. Now we have really nice looking reflections on both sides of the bottle. And also we have beautiful gold here on the sides visible. On this image still, I would now add in some fill light for the label. It will be only for the label. All the other composition will be taken from this image, but label now I will shoot separately and I will just combine these two images later in Photoshop. So to get the most even lighting on the label, all the reflections here on top and bottom Usually it's, it's in the shadow because we don't have light coming right straight front from the camera. For that, I have this large piece of paper and I have cut the hole in the middle of the paper so I could place it in front of the camera and in this case I can fill the, all the light that is needed for the label. So I will place it right in front of the lens and this is what we get. So as you can see we have perfectly lit the main label on the bottle and also the text in the bottom here and we could even use already this image without combining this in Photoshop later on because I see that this middle area on the bottle is looking really good and there's no strange ambient reflections or the white board is not visible here. Usually it gets brighter in this area and you can see the white board from there but it doesn't look good on the product image. So that's why I'm using my image usually from the older version and place the label on that one. In this case, it's really good and looking very professional. So now I have three lights on this setup and I'm using those plexiglass acrylic boards and no softbox at all. This is a really simple solution if you are having only 
flashes and you don't have any diffusers on your own coming with the flashes. So you can just go into a hardware store and buy a few of these plexiglass pieces and use those to get the perfect results. And now I will take my image even further and I want to perfect my reflections with polarizing filter which I have shown you in my previous videos how this affects my reflections on the bottle. So I will put on the filter and let's see how does it look with this one. So let's put on the polarizing filter and now I will show you the live view again just to show you the effect that's happening here when I'm using the filter. So this is the image that I get usually when shooting without the filter but now when I start turning the filter then I get those really nice gradients without having to add any extra lighting here or extra tips and tricks. This is all I need right now. So now as the polarizing filter is taking off some light that is coming from the flashes, then I need to increase the power or increase the ISO on the camera. So let's try increasing ISO and I will take it from 100 to let's take it to 50 and let's have our shot and what we have here it's a bit dark but we are getting there already so let's put the ISO 400 and here we have pretty much amazing image I could say. So here we have perfect bottle which has really nice looking reflections on both sides. They are having perfect gradient as well and still there are those sharp lines that are emphasizing that the bottle is glossy not matte. This is important because in some cases when you are making this reflection on the side then there are the illusion that this bottle material might be matte not glossy but in case of product photography we need to show exactly how does it look in real life and those sharp reflection edges here are telling us that this is glossy bottle. So now if I go and take another image for the label and I'm using my large reflector and I will go here like this and what we have we have perfect lighting on the label and now if you look at this image closely then you can see there is a paperboard visible in the middle of the bottle. So that's why I will use my previous image from here and put the label on that one. So in this case it will look perfect. So that's it. That's the way I shoot my bottles, wine bottles to be specific. And in this case I get perfect reflections on the sides and it will apply also on the white wine as well as on the red wine. So I hope you got some tips and tricks from this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.